In a world of 8.1 billion people, 7.26 billion use mobile devices, and among them, 3 billion are active Facebook users. But hold up, it's not just Facebook anymore. We're talking about meta platforms here, a powerhouse that includes the likes of WhatsApp and Instagram. By the end of 2023, Meta had billions of people using its services every single day. Well, this simply means that whenever Mark Zuckerberg and his team make an update or add a new feature, it reaches a huge audience almost instantly. Right? However, despite all this, some still don't see Meta as a strong competitor in the AI world. To tackle this, our favorite gray t-shirt aficionado came up with a new idea, Meta AI. It's an advanced AI model designed for tasks like answering questions and generating images, similar to our go-to AI chatbot ChatGPT. Meta, the company behind Facebook and Instagram, has announced a new version of its assistant tool. But what's so special about this Meta AI assistant? During the announcement, Mark Zuckerberg, Meta's CEO, emphasized that Meta AI, powered by Llama 3, aims to be the smartest AI assistant available to everyone. It leverages Meta's extensive data and real-time information from Google and Bing to provide accurate updates. In addition to WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, and Messenger, Meta AI is integrated into Meta's smart glasses and VR headset, MetaQuest. Meta states on their website, you can use Meta AI in feed, chats, search, and more across our apps to get things done and access real-time information without having to leave the app you're using. If you use Instagram, Facebook, or WhatsApp on your phone, you know how user-friendly they are. But from their competitor's viewpoint, it's a significant challenge. Customers prefer these platforms over going to a website and then using a chatbot. The release of Llama 3 includes models with varying parameters, ranging from 8 billion to 70 billion. Despite their differences in scale, all versions of Llama 3 demonstrate exceptional performance compared to similar models in the AI landscape. Notably, Meta is actively developing an even larger model with over 400 billion parameters, currently in the training phase. This ambitious endeavor aims to push the boundaries of AI technology and unlock new possibilities in natural language understanding and generation. Llama 3's secret to success lies in its massive training data, a whopping 5 trillion tokens sourced from public datasets. This dwarfs its predecessor, Llama 2, by seven times. What's cool is that this data isn't just in one language. It covers over 30 languages, making Llama 3 a linguistic genius that can understand and create content across different contexts. Meta is taking things up a notch by expanding Meta AI, powered by the Llama 3 model, to more applications and countries worldwide. Initially launching in English across over 12 countries outside the United States, this upgrade aims to enhance Meta AI's capabilities in reasoning, code generation, and task execution. How Meta AI is giving tough competition to others. Meta has been making big moves in AI. Initially, people wondered why they gave their tech, Llama, for free, especially after investing heavily in Dr. Jan LeCun's research. But now, with their new Llama 3 models, they're setting a new standard. These models are beating competitors in tests and are available for free, even in apps like WhatsApp and Instagram used by billions. This move could shake up companies like ChatGPT, Google, and others that charge for similar AI tools. Since Meta's models are open source, meaning anyone can see how they work, they're gaining trust in the industry for their transparency. Critics are also questioning other AI leaders like OpenAI, as Meta's Llama 3 models are leading the way, potentially reshaping AI as we know it. It's like Google becoming the king of search engines all over again. Meta is on its way to becoming a major player in AI technology. How Meta users are reacting to this? Meta AI is intended to help by providing quick answers directly in the search bar, but the lack of an option to disable this feature has upset many users. A person shared, I can't believe that you can't turn off Meta AI on any of the Meta apps I use, WhatsApp, Instagram. The cherry on top is that asking Meta AI how to disable it spawns a response pointing to a non-existent setting. This situation is particularly irritating for users across Meta apps like WhatsApp and Instagram, 
where the feature is also permanently active. But on the other hand, there are some users who find it very useful. They argue that Meta AI's integration into apps like WhatsApp and Instagram provides a seamless experience, allowing for quick answers and interactions without switching contexts. For instance, a user might be discussing dinner plans on WhatsApp and can instantly ask for restaurant recommendations without leaving the chat. This level of integration is seen as a step towards more intuitive and efficient digital interactions. But does open sourcing models benefit Meta? During a podcast with Dwarkesh Patel, Mark Zuckerberg was asked if he would make a $10 billion model open source. He said yes because it would help him, and they've done open sourcing before. But would it really be helpful? If they would invest $10 billion in research and development, and now it's freely available? That's something to think about. And um, unlike in this case, the evaluators can also fine tune the model, um, which hopefully will be the case in future models. Uh, would you open source that, the $10 billion model? Well, I mean, as long as it's helping us, then yeah. But would, would it like to ten billion dollars of R and D, and then now it's like open source for anybody? Well, well I think he, here's I think a question which we're, we'll we'll have to evaluate this as as time goes on too. But um, we have a long history of open sourcing software, right? We don't tend to open source our product, right? So it's not like we t we don't take like the code for Instagram and make it open source, but we take like a lot of the low level infrastructure, and we make that open source, right? The the probably the biggest one in our history was Open Compute Project, where we took the designs for kind of all of our um, our servers and network switches and data centers and made it open source and ended up being super helpful. Mark Zuckerberg believes that Meta has a history of sharing software, but not their main products like Instagram's code. They usually share low level stuff like the designs for their servers and data centers, which have been really useful in the past. One big example is their Open Compute project, where they shared designs for servers and switches. This made it easier for everyone to build those things, which saved them a ton of money. When comparing Meta AI with ChatGPT versions 3.5 and 4, a few key differences stand out that are significant for users. ChatGPT 3.5 is available at no cost, while ChatGPT 4 comes with a subscription fee. For those who find ChatGPT 4 too expensive, Meta AI offers a practical, free alternative. Additionally, many users feel that Meta AI provides better quality responses than ChatGPT 3.5. Meta has taken the step to make its AI source code open source, which is available for both personal and commercial use. This openness allows developers and researchers to freely explore and build on Meta's technology without having to share their enhancements or data with Meta or OpenAI. It's important to recognize, however, that using Meta's platform for AI applications contributes to their data collection efforts. Like many tech companies, Meta uses collected data to improve user experiences and develop new products. Thus, while Meta's AI services are free to use, they serve a strategic role in the company's long-term plan, focusing on boosting user engagement and data collection rather than direct monetization. Looking at OpenAI, they offer the advanced ChatGPT 4 model for a fee, aiming for financial gains while providing the free ChatGPT 3.5 version to enhance their models and for data collection purposes. Well, what are your thoughts on this? Who do you think stands to gain more from their respective strategies? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, check out the videos on your screen for more interesting and AI-related content.